Well, as you can see, look how beautiful this is. Amber Eyes is sitting in the long grass with the light behind her. And it is a magical scene that we are witnessing. And hopefully this is now where they're going to settle. They seem to have decided to lie down. The rest of the pride hasn't really followed Amber Eyes and this other female. And so we're in a situation where everyone's going quite static now. So hopefully that's what it's going to happen. You can see in the distances where the rest of the pride is up towards the sunrise over there. So there's the odd female. So Seb says the male is walking somewhere there. I also just can't see. Oh, there he is. I can see him. He's right behind a stump. So he's lying down now, so don't worry. But, yeah, he's behind there. <laughs> in that, there, you can just make out his mane in that really bright, bright morning sunshine. So there he is, just in the distance. It looks as though he's getting quite settled. So hopefully this is everybody just finding a place. Now that the sun is up, I'm really hoping that it gets warm enough that the lions just start to relax a little bit and we end up with them lying down and resting. Although they look as though they still want to move, you can see there's intent in their eyes this morning. Every time there's sound, you find that they look in that direction. So I don't know if they've picked up on something or they've heard something that they want to keep moving this way. Not 100% sure at all. I also would imagine that if they've eaten something, water is going to be a priority and water would be like I say, close on Arethusa. Megan in Texas, you say with this pride having so many cubs and the pride getting bigger, is there a chance basically of a break apart or a breakaway section or split from the Nkuma pride so that they can get enough food? Well, Megan, it's possible. Um, 11 is not a huge pride. It's not massive in any stretch of the imagination. You'll find that there's much bigger prides that we see in the, in, in the Kruger Park system. If you go towards the eastern part of the Kruger Park, it's not uncommon for the prides there to get to 40 sometimes. So 11 is really not that large, and I would imagine that this pride will stay fairly close together. I don't think we'll see a split of the pride in the near future. Um, 11 lines, while well, that is a lot of mouths to feed, it means it's still possible. You know, as long as they're getting nutrients every now and then and they're making the odd buffalo kill, they'll, they'll be able to feed themselves. Plus those 11 lines, they've got these one-year-olds that are already eating a lot. And so they're managing just fine with them. I don't think we'll see a split anytime soon. Like I say, I think they'll stay together. Once you start seeing the prides going over 20, that's when you can start thinking about them splitting due to lack of resources in terms of food and being difficult to hunt and find enough for mouths for all the mouths in the pride. But below that, generally the prides do okay. It's interesting though because the Salala pride, which is in the central parts of the Sabi Sands, they seem not to like to be in big groupings at all. They keep splitting all over the place. So we know that there's the Salalas, the Salala breakaways, the Mangens, the Mangen breakaways, and they're all from the same family. So there's over 40 of them in total, but at the end of the day, they just keep splitting up into smaller groups. So maybe we'll see it, but I don't think so with the Nkumas. They seem to be very well bonded and always together. Right, now, Miss McCurdy um, was tracking these very lines on the other side of the property, which is just goes to show how far they've moved. And so let's go across to her and see what her updated plan is for the rest of the morning. 